Northwest Trucker goes, ladies, your man is making 200K for five years and your wifey business ends up going under, so you have to pay the bills until he figures it out. Are y'all staying and how long does it take to bounce back before you bounce out? Okay, mm -hmm. so you have to pay the bills um, and you guys you guys been together yeah. for five years. He took care of you making $200,000 per year. How long are you hanging out until um, you leave? We'll start here with Miss Red. Until he leaves? No, until you leave. Oh. Because he's no longer a provider. You oh. got to work now and take care of y'all. Five years is a little crazy. No, you so, guys been together for I five know, years. I know, I know. Okay. Probably like three, four months. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Keep it right. real. All right. What about you? How long are you sticking around? Um. Well, if you're saying he's been working for how many years? Five years. Yes. Okay, and I have to take the... Okay, so I'm going to keep working. Okay, so I'm going to keep working as much as he worked. I will work as long as he worked. To so make five it... years? Yes, I will make it work. All right. What if it takes longer than five years? I'm out. <laughs> okay. Okay. Cool. But remember, you guys don't have the same quality of life. Uh, I'm sorry, say that again. You guys don't have the same quality of life. It's not like you're going to be making 200K a year. You're going to be making way less because you were out at the job market for five years. You're going to be working like two jobs. Compared yeah. To... So I will give him a chance until I can't make it anymore and, I will, and then I will How quit. long is that that you can't make it anymore? I will try as hard as I can, and if I can, I will move on to the next. We're asking how long until you move on to the next. I'm going to go as long as I can. I'm uh, going all in. <laughs> Ten years. I mean, Ten years. Okay. I'm year 45, so. <clears throat> so that she doubles the time, but you're... <sighs> okay. She might, die, she might die before that. Okay, I'm, I'm just... <laughs> okay. I'm... Oh, wait, I'm 41. Maybe I want to go all the way to the end. I all don't right. know. Okay. I'm just going to put not applicable. Uh, what about I you? I don't think I'd really put myself in that situation. Well, everything was good when y'all were together. I think... So you're it, leaving immediately? No, but... I, I just don't see myself in that situation. No. I see... Like, I don't think I'm going to settle down and get married to someone... Oh, so 200K is enough for you? It's enough, but I'm saying I don't think I'm going to marry some... Like, it depends. We have kids, but there needs to be other circumstances. Like, yeah, y'all were together for five years. Let's say no kids, and you guys did well. I mean, he just paid for it, take, took care of you for five years. Business was great, but then Where'd it takes, all that money go? Just business goes bad. COVID I, I, happens. I, I, I you know, easily. Uh, ERC, employee retention credit. You know what that is? I mean, you can do unemployment, Maybe, but that's um, not going to... Educating you over No, there. it's not that. It's that you never... He, that's not going to make 200K a, a year like he was making. No, it's 26K per employee. But regardless, what I'm saying... If it came down to it, but I don't think I'd be in that situation. And no, I don't, I don't think I would stay with someone that's not financially supporting me as much as I'm supporting them. Okay. Well, I think that's the man's job. So you want to you commit fraud? Fraud? ERC? ERC is not fraud. He has no employees. It's through the IRS. That's not fraud. What? Oh, if he doesn't have employees? Yeah, yeah he's self-employed. I was he's fucking with you guys with the ERC. I was oh, okay, just throwing okay. that out there. But, no. <laughs> I don't I don't think I would. Be, I just So you would leave immediately? Not immediately, but like if he's not going to work his ass off to get back to where he's he trying, was. He's trying, but you need to hold it down. How long would you hold it down? Two days. Or would you not hold it down at all? You'd be like, fuck what this, I'm What if I'm out of place where I don't even, I don't have the chance to hold it. I'm going to have to, we're both going to be broke at yeah. that point. <laughs> well, yeah, you'd have to get a job and hold him down for a bit. We'll then, yeah, fuck it, i do it. If I love him. Right, if I love him. I mean, I would hope after five Yo, years. I can't get it on my head. The like, you love this Palestinian guy after two months. I would hope you love this dude after five years. Yeah, but he's like very, I like respect him. And like, he's a like. You would get with a guy for five years that you don't respect? It's di like it's di if he's making that much money for five years, how is he just gonna go broke? He must be spending his money on stupid shit like gambling or something. Shit happens. Like the economy can go bad. Business goes bankrupt. Like then it yes, I will help. For how long? Five years. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we can just move on, bro. <sighs> I'm not gonna lie, the comment. Crack tilt Kelly Jenner, go be laughing my ass off. Bro. Oh, fuck <laughs> you. But she actually looks super cuter than Kylie Jenner. Oh, don't lie, but thank you. No, you're super cute. I, know coming. Yep. I mean, you haven't had a right. yet, have you? There you go. 
got the dog shitting on the toilet. Oh, shit, a bunch. I didn't uh, even notice. <laughs> man. Okay. Oof. Oof. <laughs> oh, man. All right, how long are you sticking around? I'm till death do us apart. So you're going to support him the whole time? Hell yeah. You're going to work in... I don't mind that shit. I mean, like, if we're together for five years, mm. like, I'm going to stick by you till whenever. If we're going to be broke, we're going to be broke together. If we're going to be homeless, we're going to be homeless together. I held it on to you for five years. Why would I stop now? Right. He's like, my... if I love you, I love you. Love isn't just a feeling. It's a commitment. He's Think my... about how many fights that so, starts, though. So just so you know, right? He is smashing you, though. That's okay. I already dealt with it once. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. Where'd that yeah. guy go? <laughs> oh, no, wait. He's across the street. Wait, did you break up? <laughs> did you break up with him or did he break up with you? I don't even know. It was like a, it was like so fast. Okay. He broke away. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No. What about you? No, uh, no, no, no. What are you no, doing? No, no, are you no, staying? No, no, are you no, leaving? No, no. How long are you staying? Mm, staying for how long? Uh, as long as uh, our relationship are. Or is it like, make me look bad? Yeah, staying, but now working, you have to working. work two jobs. Yes, you got to yes, support yes, him. Yes, yes, So you're going to work the two jobs and support him? Yes. For how long? As long as we are in the relationship. <laughs> That's smart. Cause yeah, because like, <laughs> you're end it like yo, fuck this shit, I'm up. Yeah, I should have said that. Like, as long as we are in a relationship. Yeah, but I'm asking how but long for the relationship. We last. can be in the relationship for like ten years, for twenty years. We, no, you're we in can, it for five. Yes, I know. After, like after yeah. five years, it could be like for uh, ten more years, for twenty more years. But we need a direct how, answer. Yeah. How can I imagine how long this? Can, how long? <laughs> <laughs> no, how long can the relationship last with you being the sole provider? That's the question. Yeah, it could be like uh, as long as we're in the relationship, like even for 20 years. Uh, how many years? 50. But I don't how know. How long will it take you to break up with him after he stops supporting him? I would him not break up because of this reason. <laughs> Is there Finally. lots of reasons why i could break up with him like cheating like uh, being abusive but Give not a financial reason one answer yeah two years five <laughs> years six years a week two days i would not break up because of, because of this you know okay so you won't break up at all no because of this no okay you left your last guy for paying all the bills <laughs> no I, I i just it was a joke that i answered by this he was cheating on me. That's why we broke up, you know? Uh, All right. Okay. Okay. Yo, man. Yo, Yo this, man. this is kind of like torture, bro. Yo, bro, this is bad, man. <laughs> this is... Yo. Chris, you're late. Chris. Yo, is this one of the worst panels ever, bro? Uh, I just got to say it. Yeah, because yeah, this, it, is, this it, is one it, of the worst it, ones. It all started with. I'm, actually, I'm actually enjoying this though. Yeah, you, yeah, I know you, you are. Actually, you are funny. Man. I'm trying to write notes, and I'm just like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> yeah. You're not giving straight answers. No, N A. What the questions. fuck is written on a couple uh, of these? I don't, I don't understand. Yeah, like, I made a joke. Yeah, like, <laughs> say it again. Yeah, I'll support him forever. Wait, you broke up with your guy forever? No, it was a joke. Like what? Okay, okay, comrade. All right, what about you? How long I are you mean, sticking around? If they're like trying to compensate, like get a job or a second job, just find some way to help out the business, then I'll stick around. For how long? <laughs> like, how long are you going to be in that breadwinner spot and work those two or three jobs? Or like a year. One year? Okay, so he does five and you do one? Fantastic. All right, well, what about you? If I see that he wants to change, that he like wants to find a new job and I don't know, that I will stick with him like... For how long though? For maybe I don't know a year, but not if nothing like happens, then like goodbye. I I won't be happy if I will have like three or uh, jobs. So goodbye, but if he one but one year if he tries. Yeah. Okay. Because I feel like for men it's enough, even like one month. If he really wants to, he will do this, even like one day enough. Do you think it's easier for a woman to get a job or a man? For a boss, like it depends like how much do you want it and. Like if you, have yeah, like, but let's say they're both motivated. Do you think it's easier for a woman to get a job or a man? I feel like there is no difference. Like, uh, men can go if I don't know, like an immigrant, for example, you know, and he doesn't know the language. He can go to the construction and work there. They always need someone. If girl, she's coming, he can go to like the hotel and work here there. So mm -hmm. yeah, but let's say the woman goes ahead and she wants to do construction. Who do you think is going to have a higher chance of getting the construction job, the man or the woman? 
maybe I don't know how it works here, but in Ukraine, the man. Man. Don't know. The man. Yeah. Sh- she might not know. I mean, in the United States. No, it'd be the woman. Yeah, be the woman. Hundred percent. That could get the job. Yes. Yeah. hundred percent. Yeah. That's, why? There's less women. Because equality so nowadays is like. There you go. And then, but if the man went and applied for a hotel job alongside the woman, who are they going to hire? The woman. There you go. So I is it actually notice. easier for a woman to get a job or a man? A woman. Sorry, I'm answering for her. But oh, now you have. All I these didn't answers. know this, so I've had answers. But, I thought it was but before yeah. a second ago, you're depends. giving me a hard ass time. You couldn't even give an answer yeah. about. Oh yeah. You didn't whoa, ask whoa. me about men or woman equality. Uh, that's a can very I simple one. Something? How long would you stick around? Yeah, go ahead. Sure. Yeah, like, Stay we have internet nowadays, so he can do something like... Online. Online, yeah. And he can also, like, like uh, what, take online? a risk and create his own, like, business website. I don't know, like... Is just, that easy to do? Uh, I think, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just say it. In a nutshell, they can just figure easy. it out. Oh, oh, figure bro. it out. Bro. Bro. Yeah. It's you, know, not, you know what like, it is, man? Like, women have, like, a lot of women don't have a real concept of money. Like, you guys just go on a boat, and you have no idea that the men that put you on that boat had to spend thousands of dollars for so you guys to even have that experience. Or on the boat. Yeah. And yeah. Th- here's the thing. They don't even enjoy... They didn't even, like, respect the experience, really. Like, yeah. oh, we feel creepy. That's not they true. I want to jump off boat. True. I want to jump off boat. <laughs> it's like, like, bro, they don't even appreciate <laughs> it, bro. <laughs> oh, 21, man. I better work. No. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, honestly, if I'm going to be a thousand, like, the, the, the amount it costs for them to get that boat is worth more than, like, a typical Ukrainian salary. Like, it's no, a lot of money. To be fair... Some of these guys are creeps and weirdos. Yeah, I get that. But I get that. Beyond the boat in general, he's right though. But that's what I'm trying to say is that like they, they don't have a real concept of money. Like her Why answers like tells so? me like Why do you think so? What do you mean? Why yeah. do you think so? That's wrong. Think like uh that we don't have uh, an idea about the money. Because you like, said you we, want we, to we... jump off the boat. That you he's just saying you no, no, they no, no, spend no. so much money no, on no, no. this yeah, like we and don't that, appreciate and you don't it. No, we're grateful for all experience. Like Yeah, we were grateful but yeah, but they're just having fun. Yeah, not even, we're not even, we're not even thinking about that. Fun. We wasn't yeah, thinking about that. Yeah, I understand both fun. sides, but that's what they're trying to say. You and, don't realize how much and, money and that, these men are spending to have you on that yacht, and then we all to to take you. advantage of it, kind of, because we're like, just you're saying that fun. we haven't had they're money? Like, fun. What? Yeah. Most yeah, women. but when <laughs> girls have money, it's a lot more different than guys having money because girls don't really care that much about spending it on, like, whatever. Guys, they are more focused and not focused, but, like, they're more, like, It sounds point. sexist. What, what's sexist? It's not sexist because yeah, I've yeah, seen yeah, I've seen hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did you pray so. to get on the boat? No, but no. like oh, if my oh, oh, that's sexist. It, gotcha, bitch. But we're from that's Ukraine. That's sexism right there. It is. Oh, oh, we're from Ukraine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the most yeah, sexist country ever. <laughs> Did we? Hold on, hold on. Stop the show. Hold on. Stop the fucking show, man. <laughs> like earlier in the show, I asked you. The guy wants to have you pay for the yeah. day, whatever. What was the first thing you said? But oh, in Ukraine, the man pay for everything. Do you remember? In Ukraine, the man pay for everything. Everything. I'm sorry. That's do you sexism. Remem- do you remember that I've told you that if I'm asking her to go somewhere to the cinema, that I will pay for her because I'm asking her to go somewhere. It's a kind. Do you it's remember that? That was, but that was it's with a, a wo- that's with another woman. But when I asked yeah. you about the specific situation, yeah, I'm paying with that for man. my friends also. They are men. I'm paying for them. Oh, you didn't say that before. Now you're switching it up. It's a you courtesy. It's a courtesy. It's a courtesy. But I'm paying kind. for my friends where I, I could pay for my like uh, boyfriend. It's for me, fine. And I've told you I was paying for my... Here's the thing. You okay. can't make but a, for an the argument... The first day for... Sorry. You can't make an argument against sexism when you directly benefit from sexism. And do you think these random men are your friends that invite you on a yacht? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but she's not thinking about that at the time. She's just trying to have fun. I'm just saying. And they just she's just trying to have fun. She's not thinking about it at that uh, specific which time. Which I agree with. That's but the point I'm... that I was trying to make in general, is that women don't really have a real concept of money and or the opportunities presented to them. Absolutely. And or how the real world, world works with and, money. And I agree. Because what I was saying was, like she said, oh, he could just start a website and make money or get a job. And then I was asking, well, who do you think is easier for it to get a job, a man or a woman? And then she thinks, oh, a man. No, it's actually easier for a woman. Actually, Way they, easier. their own scenario right now, they're here in America chilling niggas oh. are dying in the war fighting over there ukrainian men can't come to canada or the united states they're stuck chill. in ukraine that's yeah. the highest level of sexism yeah if we're going to be all the way a million they can't even leave. so not yeah, only they got to pay for days but they got to fight in war for women that aren't even there yeah Damn. on yachts fucking i'm great in miami god if we're going to be honest here sexism benefits you guys at the highest level 
Men your age are dying. Holy. And Ukraine Fuck is losing war. We know this. I'm not supporting this. Supporting like, what? Supporting that uh, uh, men can't leave uh, the country because of the war. You know? I understand that you're not supporting it, but you're still directly benefiting from it. If I'm benefit this, I don't support this. Like it's you're like, benefiting from it because you're a girl. Yeah, that's, that's what our he's point. Saying. That's my point. And here's the thing. I mean, I don't want to sound like an asshole, but Ukraine is losing the war very badly, mm. really badly. We all know this. Are I mean, the Russian. <laughs> you better check the news. No, like, look, no, oh, because I, you sound like that. that. Let's look, not look, go look, look. I, I am very well aware of what's going on with the conflict. Okay? I don't think so. And uh, Ukraine is losing the war absolutely. Zelensky mm. doesn't know what he's doing. Uh, and you was thinking that Donbas region, uh, in Donbas region, uh, Russian lives. It is. It is. Eth- it's yes, not true. It's been I'm Russian from there. for the longest time. No, you, you I'm just Ukrainian. admitted that you're on the edges. You don't. You're not really from the Donbas. You said that you're from literally Donbass. on the edge where the Ukrainians are. No, I'm are. from the Donbas region. Like probably, I'm sorry. That's uh, I. I, this is like no, three languages. Like, yeah, we're not going there. Going we're not on. going there. We're not going yeah, there. Look, let's you, wait, that. hold on. Let me ask you this: Do you actually think Ukraine is willing to conflict with Russia right now? That Ukrainian is winning. Yeah. You think Ukraine is winning? The yes, conflict? I hope. Yeah. Okay. Hope, hope, or do you know? We know no? that Ukraine will win, like for no, sure. No, no, but are you winning right now? Is the question. Yes. You've lost a third of your country. No. Yes, you have. They've taken all of eastern Ukraine already. Mm. What about the heart? They're, already using, rub- about the they're already using rubles in Crimea. What are you talking about? That, like, yeah, it's you, not you the got- third part. Ukraine like, is the biggest uh, country in the Europe. I mean, the Donbass would- region is not like a third party. In, even Don- not no, I said, all the I said Donbass one third region of your is- country is gone. No. Russia's already taken the one third of your country and captured no. it. One third. And they're, they're using rubles right now in eastern U- Ukraine. <laughs> like, they're using rubles. I can't believe that you don't know this. Not in all parts like of Eastern Europe. There is a part that are uh, occupied and yeah, they use like rubles, but it's not one third. Yeah. yeah. No, they've t- they've absolutely captured one third of Ukraine at this point. And I'm shocked that you guys don't know this. We know. But... Oh, so then why are you denying the truth? No, like it's we not know better uh, than you. About that, uh, I'm not saying this to like shit on your country or anything, but reality is reality. Like Russia is absolutely winning this conflict. That's not no. even a question. Uh, it is a win. It is a win that uh, they're using rubles in the, the cities. Like, yes, that means your currency is non-existent. Which following after there will be no Ukraine after that. Let's agree. If they're not even using the currency, what does that tell you? Disagree here. Let's like, agree. Disagree here. All of Eastern uh, Ukraine is gone. They've they've taken it. it you, no. you, Russia has absolutely captured most of it. You know what I mean? Like it is. That's what it is. If you yeah. guys don't like the truth, that's what it is. Yeah. And I'm crazy we that like you guys. Truth, it's crazy that you guys don't know this, huh? We like the truth. We are Ukrainians, and you okay. really need to check the news because you don't know anything. Like oh, you're watching the mainstream media. That's why you're watching like CNN and stuff like that, which is obviously going to always. I'm give watching the, my parents no. there. And I yes, know we have relatives, true. we have like dads, but he's not saying they're winning. Like, our grandparents okay. he's not happy and, for that. Like, so look, 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 let's say this, right? He's just saying they're winning. You guys are right in your own right, and then there's there's a the truth, okay? No, so, they're fucking wrong, bro. Like, I, I, like that's one thousand percent. Shut up, please. Who the fuck are you talking to? To you. Wow. Look. Let me tell you something. I'm sorry. It's okay, like no, 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 no. You let want me, to hide from this, but you're, it's you're not on my cool. show. Look, look, look. You're on my show. We okay. don't talk about fiction over here. We talk about facts. Okay. It's an absolute fact that Russia was winning this conflict. It's an absolute fact that one third of your country is fucking gone. If you don't like it, you can get the fuck out of here too. All right. Mm-hmm. But I'm not going to sit here and sugarcoat the truth. All right. You guys want to sit here in La La Land in the West and live life and be on yachts and having fun or whatever and not know what the fuck is going on in your country? That's your fucking problem. But I'm not going to concede on that. I know for a fact I brought professionals in. You want weapon inspectors. They have talked about foreign policy that know way more than you guys do. Okay? You're absolutely wrong. Every military professional knows for a fact that Ukraine is losing this conflict. That's a fact. You guys don't know because you're too busy in fucking Canada fucking off. That's the truth. All right? If you guys don't like it, get the fuck off the panel. But I'm not going to lie on my own podcast for your feelings. Feel free to leave. Bye. Feel free to leave. Facts over feelings, man. Welcome to Fresh and Fit. I don't give a fuck. Okay. All right. That was definitely a heated exchange. (laughs) Man, nah, man. We're not going to fold to some fucking girls lying about that shit. They don't know what the fuck they're talking about. They have been in the the country for years. My family tells me. Okay, they're going to tell you what they want to say. The Western media has been lying about the Ukraine conflict 
for fucking years to continue giving aid to Ukraine. It's a fucking lie. Zelensky is out here scamming everybody. Ukraine is one of the most politically corrupt countries in Europe. One of the second, poorest countries right next to fucking Moldova. But nobody knows that shit. Anyway, uh, where are we at? Chats. Uh, chats. Right. Men and woman equality. Yo, man. Yo, <laughs> man. He's like, bro, <laughs> facts over feelings, man. Because she facts decided over to feelings. say something was sexist. Fuck it, man. And they're benefiting the most from sexism. Uh, Kador, I've been watching for months and have never donated. I'm donating now to say these are the most retarded bitches I've ever seen on your panel. I'm genuinely astonished. Before the grandmother says, what are you... What? What are what you... What are you then? Trust me, it can't be as bad as you. God damn. They don't, they're not a fan of you, man. That's what else fine. have you got here? Of me? That's fine. I've been watching for months. Oh. Is that one before? Did we read that one? Yeah, we did. All right. Uh, bro, I can't believe nobody understands this, so let me simplify. You've dated five years. And, bro, d d nah, man. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, no. <laughs> I don't even want to go yeah. down that road again. Um, Ukrainian bitches be migrated to the States to become whores while their husbands and boyfriends are fighting and dying in the war for their asses. This is like Titanic all over. Yep, doesn't matter where you live or come from. Women live life on easy mode. Bro, I'm telling you, man. We called it. And and it's crazy. Like, they don't fucking know. They're all here watching CNN. Oh, yeah, Zelensky. Yeah, woo. Uh, how did Dave Goggins lose so much weight in a very short time? Wouldn't the body go in starvation mode? Uh, oh, he had a massive weight loss. Oh, but dude, he was fat. He was like 400 pounds. Mm -hmm. So... Um, ladies, you say Myron shouldn't make generalizations because it's judgmental, but would you walk down a dimly lit alley in downtown Miami at 2 a.m.? I mean, we yeah. have. they would, yeah. yeah. It's space and shit. Been there. No. Been there. It's space, man. <laughs> Fresh, you cut the next one. Way too many times. <laughs> we got here. Fresh's dog says, by Ukrainian merch, she means clothes she takes from the dead bodies. Oh, oh, oh my Whoa, God. bro. Dog. Damn, you're Relax, bro. See, okay. Here's the problem, right? I already knew they're from Ukraine. So you're going to be emotional about whatever we say. Which is why I was trying to avoid that whole talk. Cause bro, nah, man. They're going to shit, bro. get feelings. They're, they're, they're lying. I, they don't know what they're talking about. I know, but... But you weren't calling there. them... I, I understood what you were saying. You weren't saying they're winning. I think they were saying you're you're like on their side. You were just saying they're winning. Like they're, they're they taking over. They thought that you were on the Russian side. Yeah. That's what... They, they were, were taking right. it. They were as, taking well, offense. Well, Putin has a very offense. valid reason to invade. Yeah, but I mean, again, it's not right or wrong, but I understand from a Russian perspective of why they did what they did. But a lot of people don't understand the history between Russia and Ukraine. They're going to say what the fuck they want to say. People watch Western media too much and don't know what the fuck is really going on in the world and their low IQ. But yeah, the reality is, is that Ukraine is getting decimated. But I think it was more you were saying, though, like they're winning. And then, you know, like you weren't trying to start conflict over. You were just saying, I mean, it's the truth. No, 100%, but what I'm saying is I think you were trying to come off easier and they just got way too offended. Let me ask you a question. How do you think I should have said it then? Hmm. I don't think you should have said it differently. I'm saying they didn't understand what you were saying. Oh, no, I they understood. That's why they were so pissed. <laughs> yeah, they were. <laughs> they definitely understood. I just think they weren't prepared. Nigga, you're, you're not prepared. For, for you. <laughs> it's not that they were prepared. I, I think they I were know, just Maybe I'm not prepared. I'm just here to have country. fun. I don't know. They yeah. just probably have family there and are, you know... They just took it to a prison early, to be honest. Mm -hmm. I mean, the truth is the truth, man. I mean, my I mean, family's from Sudan. My family's from Sudan, and people died in that conflict, but I'm not going to sit here online and be like, oh, yeah, the country's going to stay together forever. I was like, yeah, this shit's going to separate, bro. It is what it is. Like, But that's what I'm saying. I think they meant, like, they probably thought, like, won. they won. They're winning. Like, woo. Like, you weren't cheering no. for it. Okay. We're going yeah. to yeah. 